So I have to tell you, I, I absolutely love this story. I, I actually take pleasure in bringing you this hilarious story. As you know, Republicans are currently the most anti-vaccine group in the United States. There's no single factor that predicts being against covid vaccination as much as being a Republican. Republicans love to say, well, look at anti vax in the black community. Sure, there's a history of that. We've talked about where it comes from, but it is Republicans that are the most anti vaccine group in the United States. And for Trump personally, this is a problem. He believes he created the vaccines. Now, he didn't. But Trump believes vaccines work, which they do. But so many of his followers don't believe that prominent black conservative voice Candace Owens scored an interview with Donald Trump in which apparently she thought that she and Trump were going to commiserate and sort of do their anti vax stuff together for the audience. But Donald Trump actually shuts it down. And there are like five or six different interesting things here. Let's look at the clip, which has gone completely viral, and then we'll talk about it. We see the corruption, right? Yeah. It doesn't seem like anybody ever pays for the corruption. Yeah. And right now we're seeing corruption live, even in terms of big pharma, which is a huge topic on the minds of, of mothers, especially you're seeing what's happening at these school board meetings. Where do you stand on these vaccine mandates? And obviously, I know that you are you are pro vaccine. Obviously, you did everything you could to get this vaccine out. I know it was where you one stand of on the, the greatest vaccine. achievements. We did it in less than nine months and to be able to do that. Yeah, but where, but now it's years. taken a twist, right? It's, it's gotten now we went from this is a good thing and people should have this option. Mm -hmm to military men, you're going to have to resign yeah. because you're, you're not getting this vaccine. Where do you stand yeah. on that? Well, I stand on forget about the mandates that people have to have their freedom. But yeah. at the same time, the vaccine is one of the greatest achievements of mankind. We would have had a 1917. Remember, the Spanish flu killed perhaps 100 million people. Actually, it ended the First World War because the soldiers were so a lot of people don't know that the soldiers got so sick. It was a terrible thing. There were no vaccines. There were no anything. I came up with a vaccine, with three vaccines. Mm -hmm. All are very, very good. Came up with three of them in less than nine months. It was supposed to take five to 12 years. And, and yet we more say, people have died under COVID this year, by the way, yeah, under Joe Biden, right. than under you. And more people took the vaccine this year. So people are questioning how- Well, no, the vaccine worked, but yeah. some people aren't taking it. The ones, the ones that get very sick and go to the hospital are the ones that don't take the vaccine. But it's still their choice. And if you take the vaccine, you're protected. Look, the results of the vaccine are very good. And if you do get it, it's a very minor form. People aren't dying when they take the vaccine. What about they the masking of children? Now, even in this clip, Trump lies. Trump tells a bunch of lies in this clip. But specifically on the vaccines, he brutally schools Candace Owens, but he's still lying. Trump lies again about the Spanish flu. He calls it the 1917 flu. It was from 1918. He says it ended World War One. It didn't. So he's still telling his lies in this clip that we've heard from him so many times. But he's way more honest than Candace Owens is about the vaccines themselves. But the most important lie is that Trump didn't come up with any vaccines. Trump had nothing to do with laying the groundwork for mRNA technology, which has been researched for decades and predates Donald Trump's presidency, predates Trump's awareness of it. Even Trump didn't sequence the virus. He didn't fund the sequencing of the virus. The U.S. government under Trump pre purchased some doses, which many countries do. And in fact, the Trump administration didn't even pre purchase enough doses. But lies aside, Trump is right. The people dying are overwhelmingly the unvaccinated. Do some vaccinated people die? Yes, of course. Uh, but he is completely correct about that. And it's amazing to watch Candace Owens squirm and move the goalposts and say, well, yeah, but the mandates, that's bad, right? And Trump says, yeah, the bad. And the masks on kids are bad, right? And Trump says, yeah, those are bad. But the vaccines work. Now, what happened after the fact is incredible. And it shows you how corroded this right wing movement is. Candace Owens ended up being ridiculed and attacked by almost everyone. The left ridiculed Candace Owens for being so dumb about vaccines that Trump had to correct her. Many on the right are mad at Candace Owens for doing an interview with Trump, which ended up being pro vaccine at the end of the day. And a ton of right wingers are saying, why didn't she correct Trump? Why didn't she give him the evidence that she supposedly has? So 
Candace Owens has responded to this by saying, nah, you know, Trump's just too old to understand how bad vaccines are. And this is wild for two reasons, which I'll tell you in a moment. But let's look at what Candace Owens came up with to explain what happened. Like sort of believing that Trump has like sold out or that Trump is a part of the big pharma syndicate. And my honest assessment is that he just genuinely believes that the vaccines are good. And he believes that because he comes from a generation, like people you oftentimes forget like how old Trump is. He comes from a generation, I've seen other people that are older have the exact same perspective. Like they came from a time before TV, before internet, before being able to conduct their independent research, you know, and everything that they read in a newspaper it, that was pitched to them, like they believed that that was a reality. And one of those things was, you know, this push for vaccines and believing that people were gonna die without vaccines. And so I believe that his support of the vaccine is genuine and it's not based in any corruption at all. I, I think he actually believes those things. And people that are saying, how is he ignoring all the people that are being injured? And, you know, people are sending rumble videos and all of these, you know, websites, obscure websites, I believe also that he only reads the mainstream media news, believe it or not. I do not believe that Trump reads um, or partakes in any other news sources. Um, you know, I don't believe that Trump is on the internet or, you know, that he's necessarily uses like, you know, the, the web to, to try to find, you know, obscure websites. I think that he just relies on, you know, typical mainstream sources. So I don't think that there's anything evil going on there. I just wanted to say that because so many, donors, supporters of his have are kind of like questioning where all of this is coming from. And I think he just genuinely believes that. Um, and he needs to sit down and, you know, have a full conversation with someone. Um, I'm in, I was interviewing him in that circumstance, but he needs to have a larger conversation um, to really understand what's going on and why so many people are just horrified. So there it is. Trump's just too old to understand why vaccines are so bad except a ton of the very anti-vaxxers that follow Trump are also Trump's age or close to it. And the anti-vax stuff is spreading on Facebook, which skews dramatically older. How is Trump ignoring all the rumble videos? Candace Owen asks. It is beyond parody. But the real issue is donors. She mentions donors, her money and everyone's money is now at risk because of this. And it's also funny that she says Trump needs to go talk to someone about this. I mean, I was interviewing him at the time, but I mean a larger conversation. What she means is she needs some other anti vaxxer better versed on the talking points to have a sit down with Trump and try to convince him actually the vaccines are no good. At the end of the day, what happened is that her donors didn't like hearing the truth from Trump. It destroyed her narrative and that's it and absolutely amazing, conflicting lies. I tweeted about the fallout uh, over the weekend. So it seems now Trumpists love Trump because he developed the vaccines, which he didn't, but hate him because he said the vaccine works, which it does. This completely triggered one time Alex Jones at one time, Donald Trump supporter Alex Jones, by the way, the conspiracy theorist. And I want to talk about that next. One of our sponsors is Athletic Greens, which makes comprehensive daily nutrition really simple. People are busy. We're not always getting effective, balanced nutrition from the food we eat. We sometimes are combining all sorts of different vitamins, supplements, different things that may be relevant to us. AG1 by Athletic Greens is a delicious drink that just simplifies the entire thing. It's one product. You get all of the things you need, 75 vitamins, minerals and whole food sourced ingredients. It's a multivitamin. It's a multimineral. It's a probiotic green food blend in one daily serving. Really easy, high quality bioavailable ingredients can fill those nutritional gaps in your diet and they can help with gut health and digestion and support you in other ways. And they can replace multiple products and pills that you might be taking. It's just one drink. Really simple. I've been enjoying the AG one drink by Athletic Greens. Tastes good. Helps me get everything I'm trying to get. 
Athletic Greens is giving my audience a free one year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. When you go to athleticgreens.com slash Pacman, the link is in the podcast notes.